five minutes until touchdown. Now the view from the pilot point of view camera, looking out of the heads up display. Commander Mark Kelly now flying Discovery. Discovery goes subsonic on a Saturday morning, a sun-kissed shuttle announcing its arrival at the landing site. Three minutes from touchdown. Commander Mark Kelly uh, handing the stick off to pilot Ken Ham. Beginning an overhead left-hand turn to align with runway 15, the northwest to southeast approach to the three-mile-long landing strip. Discovery Houston on at the 180. Roger, on at the 180. Kelly now flying Discovery once again. Houston on at the 90. Roger, on at the 90. Houston, Discovery, runway's in sight. Roger, runway in sight, Discovery. Discovery now aligned with runway 15. One minute until touchdown. Discovery perfectly aligned. Commander Mark Kelly flaring up Discovery's nose. Pilot Ken Ham to deploy the landing gear. Landing gear down and locked.
main gear touchdown. Ham now deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. Discovery rolling out on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, wrapping up a 5.7 million mile mission to further expand a global city in space. Garrett Reisman home after 95 days away from the planet. Stop Discovery, beautiful landing mark, and uh, congratulations on a great mission. We will meet you on page 5-3 for post-landing. Hey, Terry, thanks. Uh, great to be back, and uh, it was great to, for all of us to be part of a, you know, a big team that uh, made the station a little bit bigger and a little bit more capable. Copy that, and uh, we concur. Two weeks after its launch, you can see uh, the auxiliary power units venting through infrared cameras uh, down at the Kennedy Space Center, a normal function of the post-landing activity for the shuttle systems. Entry Flight Director Richard Jones uh, now going around the room for any uh, changes to the post-landing uh, procedures to safe the vehicle. Everything looks very good. Thanks, good to be back. 